to comfortable temperatures, but let's look at the nation first. We have another chance of severe weather across parts of the Midwest. So all the areas you see there in that light yellow color, that's the best chance for some severe weather. An enhanced chance will mainly stay across Iowa into north, the northern half of Illinois, stretching to the western side of Indiana. Large hail, some damaging winds, flooding will be a concern, and isolated tornadoes will be possible. So here's what we're looking at, looking at your satellite and radar composite from the last six hours. Showers and thunderstorms have continued to push through the area. This is where they are located right now. And as it continues to move off to the east and we have a daytime heating, that's when those thunderstorms could turn severe. So we're going to continue to keep our eye on that. A little closer to home, we have temperatures into the 50s this morning, so no change from the past several mornings. But warm spots for today will mainly stop. But warm spots for today will mainly stop stay across inland locations. So lunchtime around 11 o'clock, 77 degrees into the 12 o'clock hour, 80 degrees. By the early afternoon, upper 80s to right around 90. So very hot and dry, but it will continue to heat up into tomorrow for those areas. We can even see triple digit heat in those areas tomorrow. Now looking at the rest of the base, plan on some 70s during the afternoon and across the coast, some mid 60s. A live look outside at Walnut Creek, plenty of sunshine, and that's going to help to warm up those temperatures for today. Now seeing on the cooler side, we'll be the peninsula and areas across the North Bay. We're talking about some comfortable temperatures and it's starting off with gray skies as of right now, which is why those temperatures are on the cooler side. 51 in Santa Rosa, Nevada, 54. We have mid to upper 50s where they have sun right now into the inland areas and across the South Bay, some mid 50s for the area. Now this afternoon, we're going to continue to heat up. Hot spots, like I mentioned, inland across the East Bay and also across parts of the South Bay. Now, San Jose will warm up into the lower 80s, but Dominant Valley, maybe even Campbell, could reach the mid to upper 80s. Now, areas just like yesterday will be across San Francisco and in Oakland, where those daytime highs will be right around average into the mid 60s and some lower. 70s and across parts of the North Bay we have some mid to upper 80s. A look at the next three days it's going to be hot tomorrow so just keep that in mind plan ahead if you know anyone who's susceptible to heat illness you will definitely want to check on them especially tomorrow we could see some triple digit heat most of the area will see some upper 90s and then by Friday temperatures back off just a little bit into the mid 90s the bay will be warm tomorrow with some 80s in store so that's warmer where we have been from the past several weeks and looking at the bay mid to upper 70s by Friday coming up we're talking about that weekend forecast with your full seven day that's coming up at 755 now here's Rebecca with your morning drive